what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy care by reacts here back with some nother with some nother i don't know why i just said some nother but yeah <laughs> that's what we're working with today me with a half a break <laughs> anyways um thank you guys so much for tuning in once again man to some more monster episodes today today we're gonna be doing episodes 15 and 16 and things are getting wild things are getting wild we still have a bunch of episodes to go but in any case we're doing pretty well right i would say that we're doing pretty well um on the pace and i'm trying to do as many episodes as possible um during my record my recording sessions that i have planned out when i do get to record so i'm trying to get that under you know well done and for some reason i just lost internet and i i don't know what has been going on with my internet but for some reason internet keeps going in and out here while i'm here i don't know kind of seems like i just lost internet here Yes, I did. So I don't know what's going on. Again, in the past, like, I want to say in the past, like, four or five days, my internet has just been going out and in, you know, and it's out again today. Yesterday was out for, like, five hours, came back on. Today, it's gone again. Well, I thank God I don't need internet to record this, so whatever. So, so yeah, man, we learned a lot more about mr tenma himself you know is is reasoning behind the things that he does he just makes him such a good character go for it it did mention something in the last couple of episodes that really got me thinking about they m maybe that tenma has dual personalities but i don't see that you know you know is a dude typewriter mind dude I was trying to throw that out there, but I don't believe that for a second. Okay, so um, we still have to catch Johan, and Tenma is like, Tenma is gonna kill this dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm not making the mistake of saving your life again. But I don't think he's gonna be able to do it. Tenma is not, doesn't strike me as a person that would kill. I think, yeah, you can have that mindset is like, oh, I'm gonna kill this person. But going through with it is a whole different story. You know what I mean? It's a whole different ball game going through with it. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, he's left again um, with Dieter. So we're going to get to see what is their next adventure going all out. What more or are they going to find out about Johan? Because we, we already know. He's a serial killer from he was a child. He was they found him that way it's not even like you could say that um what's the name of the place he is it hedelheim he hedelheim whatever you can't even say that that program that the germans was doing is the reason why he is what he is they found him that way you know what i'm saying which is very common among serial killers of course you know or, you know what i'm saying it's very common that you know among notorious serial killers that you know it the signs were there from the from they were, were kids so um we'll see how this go i'm loving this crime drama here that they've put together man let's get it let's go let's just jump into it and of course i will have my review at the end so thank you guys for keeping supporting these videos i see the likes let's hit that like button and try to get 50 likes for this video man i appreciate y'all i know that many of y'all is watching the video so remember to hit that like button all right let's jump into these episodes and of course i will see you guys after for the review Oh, 
商売やりてんだったら州の許可取りなモグリの売春とか迷惑だ方法的にやったら稼ぎが少ないのよ<笑>とっとと帰りな Who the hell is this? あの人の許可があればいいんでしょ合わせてよあの人何のことだ合わせてくれるまで何度でも来るわあの赤ん坊って男に Strangely enough, why? Hey, they told you, I'm a goalkeeper, and I'm the girl. What any rule, Nanka, can't he? Nick, yeah, I thought, Dogo, it's done that. Oh, he's still with him, mother. さがしてた男が見つかったから、しばらくヘッケルのおじさんと一緒にいろってさ。俺に、お前の面倒見ろってのか。邪魔なんじゃねえ。ほら、ガキが大嫌いだってのによ。天馬のやつ、連絡がない
Okay, so I want to stop here for a little bit because I didn't, I don't think I said this on my last um, video, but I'm going to say it now. Thank you for the commenter that, um, that let me know the history of the Berlin Wall. I do not remember the name, but I could find it really quick. Let me see here. Taking a small break to give a shout out, man. Like, stop complaining. Jesus. Because I know they're complaining. Fast forward. Fast forward. <laughs> Fast forward. Jeez, bruh. Oh, my God. I'm making sure I give this person credit because they didn't have to do this, but they did. You know what I'm saying? And I like when people respond to stuff that I ask for in the comment section. I love it. I always respond back to them because. Okay, so it was Luis Vasquez. All right, Luis Vasquez, shout out to you, man. Thanks for that explanation. Um, I did see it. I just realized that I never responded to it, but I did see it and I did read it. Okay. So thanks for that explanation, man. I really appreciated that. Um, cause I didn't know anything about it. So I really do appreciate that. So thanks for doing that, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's get back to it. Anato <laughs> やみだ。ベルリンの壁が壊れてから大きな闇が生まれた。怪物。生まれたんだって。怪物。もう言ってくれ。あとは全部あの娘に話した。あの娘って。わ、ゲール。そう。That's why she showed up at the freaking um bar or the baby looking for the baby. She looks a little different, that's for sure. <笑>なんなら俺がいいねで買ってやってもいいぞ。赤ん坊に無許可で商売したら痛い目に遭うって言ったのはそっちよ。なんだとこな。なんだその目つきは。赤ん坊に会いたいって言ったのはこの娘か
心地いいリズム思わず乗ってしまいますよみんなフォルトナーさん赤ん坊はこう言ってたよこの国は第二のヒトラーが生まれればもう大丈夫だってあの女はその餌なんだニナそう、they believe that if they get him, they can get to, to Johan. そんな格好までしてお兄さんと会ってどうするんですかそんな物騒なものを振り回さないでくださいよ。大丈夫。ヨハンは必ずあなたに会いに現れますよ。Ridiculous, man. Kono h e a Gaki no Koro Sunde Takara, Urano Rojima de Shiritsu Kistenda, Kono Saki ni Kobut Shogar, Soko de Kono Jutan o Kane ni Kairu. Nanda, Okane Nai no Heker no Jisa. Osuna, o my no Bamesio Nantoka Shiarutenda, Arigatago Moitenda. ほら、一体トルコ人街になっちまったな。うん。こりゃ偽物だな。だ、何言ってんだよ。この柄、この旗触り。どう見ても手織りの主力だ。こりゃ河川だよ。まあ、かわいそうだから百マルクで引き取
私の友達も一緒に助けてよ頼むよあの子うちにまだちっちゃな子供がいるんだ頼むよ Yo! Nanda, Shindenaya. Yo, they straight up tried to kill him. So, no, my name. Jew, I'll watch Karishi Okimasho. They were told. きな私はゲーデリッツ教授。そのヨハンと一緒に写っているのはボルフ将軍だ。他に2人、合わせて4人で私たちは組織を統括している。果物は召し上がるかね、oh, wait, wait, no. Repeat that for me? So that's the syndicate? Let's hear that again, bro. He, Professor Godrich, General Wolf. Okay, there's two more of them. Okay. あなた方もヨハンの居場所を知らないのね。私たちは彼を必要としている。我々の上に座ってもらうためにね。ヒトラーがなぜあれほどの力を得たか知っているかね。彼は頭のいい実務家でね、三つのポイントを知っていた。銀行を抑え軍需作業を取り込みそして軍隊を掌握した今ヨハンはその彼がカリスマを表したのは30歳を過ぎてからのことだ。ところがヨハンはどうだ。彼には子供の頃から怪物的なカリスマがあった。まるでイエスキリストのようじゃない。This <笑> nigga just compared Johann to Jesus Christ。そのイエスの才能を最初に見抜いた東方の参加者とバプテスマのヨハネという素晴らしい4人の存在だ。我ら4人も子供の頃からのヨハンの才能に注目していたんだよ。素晴らしいだろう。私はどうすればいいの？ここにしばらくいてほしい。ヨハンが君に会いに現れるまでね。逃げるような真似はしないでほしい。君はもう一歩踏み
何をやろうとしてるんですかヨハンを探し出してどうしようって言うんですかミナはどこにいる<笑>質問してるのはこっちだと言ってるでしょミナをどうする気だ質問するなと言ってるだろうが<笑>ミナは大事なお客様だお前のようなゴミとは違うんだじゃあ無事なんだな今はねでもあの子はとっても危険あんなに可愛い顔してるのにヨハンを殺そうとするなんてそういう人間はじきに処分しなくちゃミナはヨハンを呼び出すまでの道具というわけかお前たちは何者だ何をしようとまた質問だお前たちの技いじいしまあたしたちに質問する資格なんかないそういう生意気な態度をとるから間違と焼き払われることになるんだ I think of beating this guy with a pool stick, bruh. That's crazy. ちょっと待って。でも私はどうしてもここにいなくちゃいけないの。お願いだって。早く散らせないと私の坊や死んでしまう。明日の夜はヨハンを歓迎するパーティーでちゅ。この世の中には我々のような優秀な民族だけ生
どこ行くんだほらガキあの骨董屋の絨毯は俺みたいな値打ちの分かる人間が持たなきゃ意味がねえんだそういう目で大人を見るなって言ってんじゃろうが泥棒<笑>好きにしろえ人儲けしてもうまいもんなんか食わしてやらねえぞいいか人に喋ったらただじゃおかねえぞ絶対泥棒の仲間になんかなるもんか絶対に、うん、お腹かすいた悲しいやしいお腹も泣かないもうすぐママ帰ってくるからねこの子ママいないのんああ,あんたこそそんなとこにいないでママのとこ帰んな<笑>ああんたももしかしてママがいないのかごめんよ悪いこと言っちまったね平気だよ天馬がいるもん天馬<笑>遠慮しないでどんどん食べなあんまり大したもんじゃないけどさってことはあんたその天馬が帰ってくるの待ってるわけだあの子と同じだねあの子のママどこ行っちゃったの悪いやつらに捕まっちまってさ悪いやつらあそこは本当にやばいんだよさっきも力になってくれそうな東洋人が私の目の前ではねられて東洋人あ天馬ってのも日本人だって言ってたねでもまさかね僕行くよ場所どこ私のお客その男極右グループのみんな仕事終わって私引き合ってたあでもマフラー忘れて取りに戻ったその男電話で仲間と話して私、逃げた町の人に知らせようとでも我慢してここにダンまた死んだ火事になったら逃げられない誰ゲーデリッツ教授から果物をお届けするようにとありがとう教授からの伝言でございますもうすぐこちらにボルフ将軍が見えます兄と一緒に写真に写っていたのはいヨハンのことを一番よくご存知の方ですおそらく妹さんであるあなたよりよく知っていると教授がおっしゃっていましたあったとまだ死んじゃダメ今ゴルフ閣下が見えるんでしょお前を捕まえたお手柄を見ていただきまちからねボルフカッカとお呼びなさいカッカとボルフ将軍を探せ最初にヨハンの才能を見出したのは彼だボルフカッカにお褒めの言葉をいただけるなんて夢のようでしょ失礼します明日の晩のトルコ人が野球打ちのメンバーが揃いました。何かご予定に変更は。すべて予定通り、私は真っ赤な空を見ながら食事をしますしま。They want Johan to be the next Hitler。楽しいお食事の台無し。予定通りできなかった場合はお仕置きですと伝えなきゃいけない。あ、ヨハンはお前たちの上になど座らない。ヨハンをお前たちの組織のトップに。座らせることなど無理だ。Yeah, you probably just gonna kill all y'all. 彼はお前たちのような安っぽい人種差別や偏見など持ち合わせちゃいない。ヨハンは人間すべてを嘲笑っているんだ。That is very true. That is true. ほら、珍しいお客さん。<笑>こちらのお客に俺から一杯いつものやつはいよ
<laughs> Why give this kid alcohol? <laughs> no reaction to alcohol? <laughs> what? <laughs> of course. Oh shit. Who is this? Is this Wolf? とにかく落ち着いて。その部屋から出してあげたいけど、今私には I mean if if she could hear them, wouldn't somebody else be able to hear it too? In some other bathroom. They flushed her. <laughs> Bro, what? She's on the floor above, right?天馬というのはその男かええ私が捕まえましたあれゴルフ閣下は別の場所でお待ちだこの男を連れて行くえおいしかしこれは私の手柄で私が閣下にお見せしてからこの相当この子はどうしましょうえこの男を探しに来たと
Oh, shit. So General Wolf wants to talk to this guy. I see. I think they drowned her. They killed this dude too? Is Johan here? Yo. Did General Wolf. Is this Johan or. Is it General Wolf's men just kill everybody and left? Yeah, She's still at the house. What is he talking about?僕にご馳走してくれたおばさんや赤ちゃんが死んじゃうよ。お前が行けばカルビン通りの人はみんな助かるんだ。早く行け。うん。車を拾っていけば30分ほどだ。手荒なことをして悪かった。言ってくれ。私を信用して銃を返してくれたあなた方には悪かったが、こうでもしないと
私がボルフという名前だと知っているしかし見ず知らずの人間の中に入れば私はボルフと名乗らなければならないだがね私がボルフであるという証拠はどこにあるというのだねヨハンを初めて見出したのはあなたですねうん12年前だそしてベルリンの511キンダーハイムに送り東ドイツの先兵にいや指導者に育て上げようとしたそう崩壊寸前のあの国を支える人材としてねそして今や彼を新しいヒトラーに見立て極右組織を拡大させようとしている<笑> I don't think so <笑>私は今便宜上この組織に属しているだけだ他の連中は彼をヒトラーに仕立て上げようとしているようだがバカな考えだよ<笑>ヒトラー程度の人間でさえあそこまで行ってしまったヨハンだったらそうヨハンという名は私がつけたんだ彼ら兄弟はチェコの国境近くを歩いていたところを我々が保護した彼らはあの厳重な国境の警備をかいくぐり栄養失調と寒さで瀕死の状態で歩いていた保護するとすぐ彼らは気を失った我々が発見しなければ彼らは死んでいただろう君が彼の命を救ったのと同じだよ。でな。意識を回復したとき、私は彼に問いかけた。今の気分はどうだね彼はこう答えたよ。あなたも今にわかりますよ。You know soon enough。私が。ゴルフである証拠はないんだよ。私を知っている人間は次から次へとこの世から消えていった。妻も子供も親、兄弟、親戚、部下も友人も次々と死んでいった。すべてヨハンがやったんだよ。いや。私がゴルフであると証明できるのは。唯一東ドイツから持ち出した大金のおかげだ。私が私であると信じる以外、誰も私を知らない。あなたも今にわかりますよ。その意味がこれだ。孤独だよ。これを見たまえ。<笑>ロンベルグの。ヒルデンウンとエンゲルス社の倉庫後で待つヨハンは今朝ここにいた<笑>そしてゲーデリッツとその部下を殺したこれでまた私を知る人間が一人いなくなったニナはこの伝言を見てその場所へ向かったのだろう彼を殺してもらいたい何そこは本当か<笑>本当だよ早くカルビン通りの人に知らせなくっちゃ<笑>なってほったついに俺にも運が巡ってきやがったえ火事に乗じて絨毯をものに<笑>ついてきたぞ火事場泥棒<笑>バカ大声出すな誰にも聞かれちゃまずいんだ話せよ<笑>町のやつだけじゃねえその右翼の連中に知れてみろ話いるじゃねえぞ<笑>特にスキンヘッドにカビ十字の入れ墨入れてるようなやつにお,おいやいやいやこの屋敷にトルコ人女性が監禁されていなかったかその女は3階で死んでいたあの女だけはヨハンが殺したのではないゲーデリッツ教授の部下の手にしたあの男ヨハンを殺せるでしょうかわからんだが
Masterfully done, man. Masterfully done. Oh my god. Masterfully done. Masterfully done. Wow. Wow. And wow again. That two more episodes in the bag, man. I'm loving watching Monster. Monster is one of my favorite series to watch right now on the channel. No doubt about it. This is one of the most incredible anime series that I've ever watched. I'm only 16 episodes in, and I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> and I can speculate. I can speculate. This is not a, you know, like dark where, you know. Yeah, we're going to talk about that another time. But Monster is just one of that. I will have a conclusive decision on whether this is a better crime drama than Death Note once I get to the end, of course, but it's looking like it's going to be better than Death Note, and I'm going to tell you guys why. Story-wise, it's already better than Death Note as a story. Death Note, the reason why Death Note is in my top five animes all time for me the reason why it's in my top five is the mental battle that transpires in that show it's the mental battle to the intellectual battle that happened between l and light that's the reason why i have it in my top five i even did um a breakdown of it where i talk about um where i talked about um what do you call it um you know how power you know corrupts you know what i'm saying and that essentially to me there was a lot of diff different other elements but that's the element that stood out the most to me right that's the element that stood out the most for me the element that power corrupts even the most intellectual even the most dumbest people throughout the series that was essentially to me the theme of the entire thing because what would you do with power he could have done good with the power of the death note he could have done some good you know what i'm saying i don't think that much power should be in any human being had but he could he, you know he could have done so many different things with the death note other than you know killing people like you know some people who loves or advocates for capital punishment of course they think they, they're gonna be like life is the man but as you guys know i'm not with capital punishment you know what i'm saying i loved light as a character don't get me wrong i would never do the shit that he did but you know what i'm saying you can see how he slowly 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 became corrupted to the point where he killed people that had nothing to do with you know who weren't criminals he started out killing out criminals and then it just it just got out of hand and he just couldn't stop he just couldn't stop he just wanted more and more and more just to be a god i have this godly power i have to be god but with this this is a straight up real life kind of drama and that's why i mess with it so much is it going to end up being a better crime drama than death note let's just see i, I said story wise it's a lot more grounded when it comes to monster so of course you're gonna get that feeling of is you know this is something that could happen in real life you know so there is that element that you really gotta look that that you gotta look into and be like but both of them i think is in the same 
type of genre when it comes down to medium medium overall which is you know it, it's a crime drama this is a crime drama that is a crime you know some people the only thing is like okay death note is is a crime drama with you know some supernatural aspects to it which you do have crime dramas that have supernatural aspects to it it's it's not new that ain't no new thing that they created or anything like that it's just that in, in anime format now you guys already know over here that i mess with story driven um anime tv shows whatever i mess with it heavy because i want to go on a journey whenever i'm watching anything you get what i'm saying so i'm i'm not a person who loves much of things that are very episodic to a point you know what i'm saying like episodic where it's a different shit every time you're watching it it's always a new thing you're learning or you know what i'm saying i want to follow a storyline it will keep me engaged longer if i'm watching something like that plus it's better for the channel itself and the and the reactions that i'm putting out because we'll all go on that journey together even if you're watching the show for the first time you will all be going on that journey together that's why you know people have suggested that i do sitcoms you know on the channel um you know i don't know if i would ever do a sitcom on the channel if it's a really good sitcom that follows a complete story till the end and you of course you guys are going to let me know that because they are sitcoms that are like that um but most sitcoms are episodic you know what i'm saying they're not following any particular storyline yes the actors get older over time you're going to see them get older throughout the seasons you're going to see them get older but are we following a story you know what i'm saying are you following a story i know they're back in the day they used to have a lot of sitcoms that used to follow a story but most of them still were episodic but you had some like my favorite of all time which is frazier um i think it it followed a very comprehensive story because even right now at this minute i'm sitting right here watching i watch frazier any like every year i just go i just watch frazier like every year i just watch it you know what i'm saying because it's just it's my favorite of all time so i just watch it anytime you know what i'm saying like once a year i just watch i just binge watch the entire 11 seasons of frazier you know and i enjoy it is and, and i still laugh you know there's still some very funny moments in frazier you know even some of the stuff that i remember i be saying it you know what i'm saying that i remember them saying because you watch something over and over again of course you're gonna know those things but at the end of the day man when it comes down to the story of them telling that johan is you, you, you know what i'm saying like he's the second i was like mm, no that doesn't fit and that's why when wolf was saying i was like nah wolf got another agenda like he knows exactly who johan is johan doesn't have that agenda that's why when tenma says it i'm like yeah that sound that sounds more like who we come to know johan as or the little information that we have about him so far he doesn't give a crap about human beings like he don't care who you are he's not he's not racial di driven like you know hitler you know they're they're they're, they're fascists or whatever the, he's not driven by by a, a racial discrimination as in you know color of your skin you know stuff like that like he's not driven by that he's driven by the fact that he believes in my opinion i think johan believes he's a god he believes that he's a god you know he believes that he can just eliminate people and he can choose if you live or die that's him you get what i'm saying he doesn't care about you know hating you he doesn't hate you and that's the thing too like he doesn't hate you you know what i'm saying he just believes that he has that power to allow you to live or die that's who he is at least what we know about him so far you know from a kid bro that's that's crazy so in those these two episodes you know it seems like anna is about to go and meet with johan so i don't know how that's going to go maybe it seems like she saw something there I don't know if it's something you know what i'm saying disturbing i don't know if it's i don't know what she sees because it doesn't look like it's johan that she sees 
but we'll see if it is. But yo, the man said fear. Yeah, you know I'm saying he said fear. This man, tough ass dude. You know what I'm saying? Look at the history of General Wolf, right? He was the one brainwashing these kids. So you know, you gotta have a different kind of mindset to even be on board with some shit like that. And for him to be scared of Johan because Johan has been picking off everybody around him. He's like, okay, you saved my life, but you gonna understand what solitude is. Like, crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. Of course, after this series is over, I'm going to do an in-depth analysis of Monster because I feel like that video is going to be needed in a long review of what we watched. I don't know what how this is going to end yet, but I think it's going to be in the upper echelons of, I think it might take one of my top five spots of animes of all time, and I might have to, I might have to put it in that number five slot and move that note out of my my top five because um in, i don't know yet because i think throughout i want to say as we go to like ep 16 episodes into death note death note is a shorter series of course but 16 episodes through death note i don't think that note was giving me this i was excited you get what i'm saying but as i said the best parts about death note was the mental intellectual battle that happened between L and Light. I think that's the best part of Death Note. I think that's what made it popular, you know, but the overarching thing about it was power corrupts. That's just my opinion. But in any case, you know, in any case, this was incredible to two episodes. I think I'm going to go and watch two more right now to see what really happened. Um, what's going to happen or you know what I'm saying and see what freaking Anna sees or whatever are we gonna get to see Johan again it's been a while since we have seen him and there's this lore building up about him and we still we've seen this guy literally maybe twice in the show not as a young kid I'm talking about as him grown up I think we've only seen him one time I don't think yeah we saw him twice because he was he showed up to visit Anna in school he was there for, for a tad bit and then we saw his face of course when he when he killed that guy you know what I'm saying when he shot that dude from the crew or whatever and people are scared of this dude and I don't know why because it, it ain't because he walking around with a gun there's another reason why people fear him but I don't know what it is that's the thing like it can't just be because you know the dude the dude must just command that kind of respect among people that he meets i don't know why they fear him so much he's not a, he's not an ugly dude he's not walking around he's not you know what i'm saying freddy krueger or or freaking jason Voorhees. it ain't none of those people you know he's just walking around like a normal dude blonde you know regular and shit and people are running scared of him and i don't know why you get what I'm saying? Why do they fear him so much? So, I mean, other than the fact that they know he kills people, like, I'm talking about hardened dudes just fear the dude. You know what I'm saying? It's like, is he, is he like killing people's families in front of them or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but he doing something crazy to really get these dudes in line or whatever he chooses to do. But... At the end of the day, man, it's intriguing. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. Let me know what you think of these two episodes in the comment section, man. And of course, man, leave a like on the video. Don't forget, we're trying to hit 50 likes on this video. So make sure you hit that like button. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. See you guys for the next one. Peace.